And welcome back to the program. A lot of things going on with Kansas soybean. One of the other things that is coming down the line is the Kansas Commodity Classic. This is an opportunity for producers from all over the state as well as their representative organizations to get together, talk about policy, um, maybe compare notes, and uh, just put forward a, a, a really strong voice for all Kansas producers that are involved with commodities. Um, the Kansas soybean folks are always very involved with this. In fact, they're one of the co-sponsors. Yes, we are. And this is something that, um, you know, there for several years, it was just the, the wheat growers, corn growers, and sorghum. And they invited us to want to know if we wanted to be involved with this. And they said, yeah, sure, we'd be glad to be involved with the Kansas Commodity Classic because uh, it's, it's just a great time. And like you mentioned, it's a good time for networking and do some a uh, you know, little bit of work with our other uh, organizations, the corn growers, sorghum growers, and the wheat growers, and kind of so we're all on the same page because they have some some of the same issues that we have, and it's kind of a collective voice that we can you know talk about things and how we want to go with the farm bill or uh, you know getting some of these uh, trade uh, deals signed like the USMCA, and it's it, it's just a really good event that going to be happening at the end of January. Where's it going to be held at this year, Raylan? It's going to be at the Kansas Alumni Center. It was there last year, and it was a great event. Several great speakers. It's free. It doesn't cost anything. That's one of the things. You know, each one of the commodity organizations, uh, we put, put money towards this to make it work. And actually, when we say the commodity organizations, it's you and me as farmers that raise soybean, corn, and wheat that are paying for it with a little bit of money that, for checkoff dollars. It goes to one of these events. It's a really great event. And it's money well spent uh, to help educate and, and uh, just uh, build build strength and ties between our different organizations uh, around, the, around the state of Kansas. Yeah, but you know with, um, what is it, less than 2% of all of us now in the United States are actually directly involved with production agriculture. Um, we, we are outnumbered and we're outvoted. And we need to have a united front so that when we stand up and say, uh, we, we, we need this, or hey, don't do that, that will, that will hurt our bottom line, or that will hurt our opportunity to pass on our legacy to our children. Uh, that, that, that speaks volumes when we can stand up as one united voice. It, it really is. And that's, um, you know, I've been to Washington, D.C., and it worked you know, in our state house in, in Topeka several times. And our representatives, they always ask, so, okay, what do the corn growers think about this? And, you know, 98% of the time we're always on the same page and, you know, we, we can talk the same language. And, uh, you know, once, a time, once in a while there's a little bit of a difference, but we always come together at the end of the day. Yep, and so that's uh, all about. If folks want to find out more about any of these activities, uh, maybe if you're not a member, you should become a member. They can always go to the website to find more, right? They can, and I know at the expo we're going to be having a, a membership booth set up, and it's always that's a great time to renew your membership, or if you're not a member, go ahead and, and join. And it's uh, you know I've worked that booth many times over the years, and <laughs> it's a great opportunity to meet people, and also it just helps your organization and builds better strength amongst all of us farmers. Very well said. Well, listen, uh, Merry Christmas to you and the family and Happy New Year. And we're looking forward to 2020. Thank you very much, Raylan. Always appreciate it. Don't go anywhere. We need to take another break. We'll be back right after this. Nice work.